how to understand Intel CPUs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Intel CPUs get really confusing because there are just so many model numbers. So I'll break it down real simple for you. You have your i3s, i5s, i7s, and i9s. Those are just the class of your CPU. i3s being the weakest in the lineup and i9s being the strongest. The next numbers help you indicate what generation of Intel CPU. So let's say you have an i7-2700 and an i3-14100. Lots of people are just going to lock in on the i3 and on the i7 and think that the i7 must be better than the i3. But the i3 is way newer than the i7, which is shown in the model number. 14100 aka 14th gen. So while the i7-2700 is still a great CPU, the i3-14100 is leagues ahead of it. But because of it being an i7, people will still think it's better. Sometimes there are some CPUs that may end off differently, like the i5-8400, 8500, and 8600. They're all 8th gen CPUs, but they have different speeds. And finally are the letters that come at the end of the model numbers. These are either K, F, KF, T, or nothing at all. K means you can overclock it and push more out of your CPU. F means that you need a GPU for your computer to run. KF means that you can overclock it, but you also need a GPU. And then T just means the power power was decreased to conserve energy and temperature. Intel CPUs get super confusing and don't even get me started on the laptop CPUs. We just wanted to simplify the desktop line of CPUs so people feel more comfortable buying PCs from us. Here at Easy Computers, we understand that if you're purchasing from us, you likely don't know all the model numbers and what they mean. We pride ourselves on being as transparent as possible and having some of the most affordable prices out there. We have computers that can play games and are just $269. Don't sleep. Buy from Easy.